An active shooter means that there is someone in the act of shooting right now. And so perhaps you're familiar with active shooter drills that students do in schools or maybe in workplaces. It means there's someone on site with a gun who is shooting. And so that triggers a lot of response protocols uh, and, and training will kick in in that situation. There's no denying that gun crimes are probably in your headlines and your timelines a lot more than you'd like. These situations, they often happen fast. Because things are changing quickly, we hear a lot of language from law enforcement that we may not have a frame or reference for. Cop talk moves from the police podiums into our conversations and words like active shooter, long gun, and an assault rifle can become associated with things outside of their intended meaning. And these terms may cause an emotional response like anxiety or anger when sometimes they are used in a different context than we commonly understand. In the 20th century, the term active shooter didn't show up in the headlines very often according to the New York Times, but in 1999, everything changed. That's the year of the shooting at Columbine High School in Littleton, Colorado. A week later, the Times described the situation as follows, quote, the violence at Columbine, which left 15 people dead, presented officers with what they'll call an active shooter, someone who is not holed up, but is on a killing offensive. The understanding of the word, linking mass shooter with widespread violence and death has become the common understanding. But the actual definition, according to law enforcement, means something different. According to the FBI, an active shooter is, quote, an individual actively engaged in killing or attempting to kill people in a populated area. But not all active shooter situations end in deaths. Instead, the term is used to indicate a specific tactical response from law enforcement. 